Here's a statistic for you. There's about $4 trillion in personal savings accounts right now. Personal savings personal accounts savings sitting accounts. inside of banks. Sitting inside of banks. Okay, four trillion. So okay. people just don't know what to do with their money, but the, the value they get from that is it's safe mm -hmm. and it's liquid, mm -hmm. but they just don't have any other place to, to, to put it or they don't right. know what to do with it. Right. But if they have one of those three key retirement risks, yep. you know, if a spouse passes away and their income is gonna go down to the point where it would jeopardize their lifestyle, mm -hmm. if they haven't dealt with long-term care and don't have a plan, mm -hmm. and if they don't have a really efficient way to transfer that wealth to their people they care about, their beneficiaries, right. this is where the mech fits in. Hey, what's going on, Cashflow Hackers? It's Chris with Life 180, and I am here with my buddy, Danny Romberg. And um, you know, we're gonna be talking about some things today. I get a lot of questions all the time about, hey, Chris, in what instances does Index Universal Life actually work? And so I don't do a lot of this from a, I, I wanna be transparent with you. I don't do a lot of this, but this guy right here is on the Life 180 team. He's been an, an advisor, uh, an agent for how long now? Nine years? Nine years. Nine yep. years. Yep. And, and so he's been top of the table. He's been extremely successful in a lot of different areas. Um, you know, he, Thank you. He's written books. I mean, he's got this one. This is just one of your books, right? Like yeah. You've written a couple books. Yeah. So I'm going to let him talk about this after. But ultimately, we're going to talk about where Index Universal Life works and one specific strategy that, if you could believe this, that I actually am okay about talking about that, you know, if it makes sense and for the right person with the right expectations, with the right use case, it can actually be a really good solution. And yeah because he is the man and the expert on Thank this you. stuff rather than me just like taking it and speaking to you. I wanted to bring Danny on yeah. to be able to share this with you guys thank and you. talk about it. So thanks cool. for being here, man. Yeah, thanks so much for having me, Chris. I really got to say thank you. I'm grateful yeah, to be here. And I, first of all, I want to start by saying thank you to you because I've been a fan of the channel for a long time. <laughs> and now getting to be here with you and getting to talk about this is awesome. I think this, I'm on a mission because there's a huge void in this space yeah. where as agents it's our job to educate the public take care of them bring to them proactive ideas that can help benefit and enrich their lives and i feel like we're missing the mark so i'm out to try to help as many people as i can with this so it, thanks for everything you're doing for the industry man you've been doing a great job it's thanks, incredible man. yeah absolutely awesome so so talk to me sure about like this this idea so i i guess i'll set the stage a sure bit, right so what we're talking about here is how to utilize an index universal life yep. with a single payment mech yes. of the policy. Now I yep. know most people when they sell index universal life, they're selling it for accumulation, right. they're selling it for tax-free income and retirement, and sure. they've got this whole idea of like, hey, put money in an IUL and let it grow for 30, 40 years, 20 to whatever years, right. and and you know, you'll be able to take X amount of income out for tax-free income and retirement, yep. and ultimately, I think I got a thousand videos on why I don't believe that that right. is the best product for that. <laughs> but what you do yeah. a lot of, and you had a lot of success with, yeah. and there's a lot of, uh, let's just call it buffers in place that protect people. Right. So they're not really at risk of the policy lapsing. They're not at risk of all the negative contexts that go with IUL that's sold in the traditional sense in the way that most people would like that, that most people see on TikTok and YouTube and all these different places where people are selling it. Right? Yeah. So you do these single premium mech contracts. Yeah. Now, most people, when we hear mech, I know it's an acronym, yeah. but it's more like a four letter word, right? right. Like it's, it's like a it's a really yeah, bad word yeah, that's in what the we're insurance talking. space, right. Right? right? And so when, when we think about this, like why do you do this? What are yeah. the benefits of doing Absolutely. mech? And so just walk through, like yeah. walk through the whole thing. That's a great place. So that's what I think the problem is. As agents, we're mm. taught, when you first learn about cash value life insurance, what's the first thing you learn? Uh, don't mech. Yeah. Like yeah, that's yeah, yeah. like a four letter word, right? Yeah, yeah, you don't totally. want to do that. And so totally. why is that? Well, a mech, all it is, is basically crossing that taxable threshold yep. to where the IRS says, okay, no more tax free loans. Right. You know, and you're going to, you're going to take away that status if you put too much money into a policy, most time with a single premium. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's interesting in itself because you think, why would the IRS really care about how much money you're putting into life insurance? That could be a whole other yeah, video. Yeah, that's a whole different... But Can't the fact is they do because yeah, yeah. there's these mech limits with every single policy. You can't mm -hmm. fund too much, otherwise you lose your tax-free access yep. to the cash. So yep. you go, why is that beneficial? What's the purpose? And this is why I'm so big on helping people with this because I run about 25 meetings with clients a week. And I'm primarily Dude, served- That's beast mode. Thank you, I appreciate Good it. Job. I'm really that's grateful. Awesome. I work Love for it. a phenomenal family business that my dad started Love years ago and it's incredible. We have Love a great it. client base here in Arizona. But um, the main thing that I'm focused on is helping people in their 60s 70s and 80s 
And so cash value life insurance, traditionally, you're not really thinking of too much cash value life insurance. Once you start to get to 60s, mm -hmm. pretty tough. Yeah. Doable, like that video you did, yeah, yeah. doable, but yeah, 70s yeah. and 80s, it's, it's, it's not like happening. Virtually right, impossible. the fees are too high, right. it just doesn't work, totally. right? However, the modified endowment contract fills a need in that space, okay. and you can set it up with whole life yeah. or an index universal life. Okay. But the key is really helping clients to get super intentional with what their goals are mm. and their money. And so I don't really mm -hmm. focus too much on whether it's necessarily whole life or index universal life. Mm -hmm. What I'm focusing on is the need for the client yep. and what problem it solves for them. So okay. I found that MEX really specialize in three areas. They're gonna help seniors who need income replacement, mm -hmm. They're gonna help seniors who have issues with long-term care okay. and still have that risk on the table. Okay. And the other key retirement risk that it'll help uh, remove is wealth transfer. So it's okay. a great tool to add value there. So nice. a lot of times, here's a scenario where I think this provides massive value and makes a lot of sense. You have a client who is a great saver, right? Okay. And we get into this conversation of what is active liquidity versus passive liquidity. I talk about this all the time. Active liquidity, checking account. 12 mm -hmm. to 24 months in savings. Okay. This is money that you might use. This is called your active liquidity. Passive liquidity is a senior who's been a great saver their whole life, they live within their means, they're great stewards of their money, and they've built up a reserve mm. of kind of a dormant asset. Mm -hmm. Here's a statistic for you. There's about $4 trillion in personal savings accounts right now. Personal savings personal accounts savings sitting accounts. inside of banks. Sitting inside of banks. Okay, four trillion. So okay. people just don't know what to do with their money, but the, the value they get from that is it's safe mm -hmm. and it's liquid, mm -hmm. but they just don't have any other place to, to, to put it or they don't right. know what to do with it. Right. But if they have one of those three key retirement risks, yep. you know, if a spouse passes away and their income is gonna go down to the point where it would jeopardize their lifestyle, mm -hmm. if they haven't dealt with long-term care and don't have a plan, mm -hmm. and if they don't have a really efficient way to transfer that wealth to their people they care about, their beneficiaries, right. this is where the mech fits in. Got it. And so when I'm designing these, and while we talked about Index Universal Life actually being yeah. a viable player in this yeah, space, totally. we're putting what's called a return of premium or waiver of surrender rider on the policy. That's yeah. massive. Okay. Because with the return of premium rider or the waiver of surrender charge rider, that's gonna give you instant access to that cash. Okay. And it's gonna be able to preserve it so that if the client needs that money back, they're able to access it through that rider that we set up or that waiver that we set up initially. So that's Got gonna it. protect a lot of the issues okay. that you see that you yep. talk about, about index universal life, but it's a different realm, right? It's a we're, different animal. It's a different animal. You're, we're talking only people over age 60. Right, and so you're only people over age 60 and yeah. you're, you're doing it for the living benefits yep. and you're doing like so long-term care. Yep. Uh, it, do, they, do they come with the accelerated benefits of living, of, of terminal? critical, chronic? Yeah, I'll, well, let me do this. I'll run okay. through each three right. scenarios right. and then I'll show you where they really shine. All right. But that's really a key distinction is when you're talking about IULs on yeah. your channel, you're talking about the difference between the accumulation phase mm -hmm. of life with whole life and Versus IUL. Distribution. And I'm super grateful to you now being on the team, learning yeah. the value of whole life and yeah. where it really fits in. But this is not the accumulation phase we're talking right. about. We're talking about the decumulation phase. We're talking about you've earned all the money you're gonna earn, you're yeah. now in retirement. Yep. And you need to make that last and you may still have these key retirement risks that you need to neutralize and just take off the table. Big time. Right? Big time. So it's only for people over age 60 because the IRS also has a penalty if you're age 59 and a half yep. or younger, right? 10% yep. penalty on the interest yep. and there's other issues. So, yep. Yep. so for people that are 60 and up, 70 and up, 80 and up, if they have these three issues, I'll go through and break them down. So mm -hmm. a lot of times you'll sit down with somebody and uh, they will have a husband and wife, mm -hmm. two spouses. and basically a lot of the income could be on one spouse, either okay. the husband or the wife. Yep. If they were to pass and that income were to decrease substantially for the other person, mm -hmm. that's a significant risk. That's mm -hmm. a problem. Totally. So modified endowment contracts, let's say you have a surplus of liquidity, yeah. right? You're, you're above your abundance fund of yeah. you know, 12, 24 months in the yeah. bank, right? Yeah. And you have this excess cash. It's just sitting there, it's safe and liquid. Yeah. Well, why would you keep it sitting there safe and liquid if you could put it in a modified endowment contract, yep. have liquidity, have some safety, but now create leverage. Right. Maybe you can take that extra 100,000 and make it look like 200 or 250,000. Yeah. And that would be able to be that protection that would help that other spouse. And that's a great yeah. way to add value to what you're yeah. already doing. That's awesome. And you can do it with IUL or and, whole life. And so talk to me about talk to me about the risks associated with that or okay, actually no, let me phrase that question differently. Yeah. Talk to me about how you take the risk off the table in an IUL doing a single premium mech because the risks when you do accumulation yeah right because and i want to speak to this because sure. it's like to me this is one of the most important components because yeah. 
if there's a lot of risk in this, then to me, this is, you know, it doesn't make sense, right? right? So how are you utilizing an index universal life chassis yeah. and not having the risk of the cost of insurance and the fees and all the things that I, that I rail on, the net amount at risk and all these different things kind of getting out of control yeah. in retirement on yeah. these policyholders. It's a great question. Yeah. Because let's be honest, the yeah. fees in, in IULs, 60s, 70s, 80s, yeah. massive fees. Yeah. Big really time. high. Big time. Okay. That's why the return of premium rider is so important. Yeah. Have to have it. Yeah. Because without it, and you'll see in the contracts, mm -hmm. the cash value will go down below yeah. what you put in. Yep. Right? Oftentimes. But with that return of premium rider, you're giving the client a guarantee that if they want to take all their money out, they want to change their mind, they want to take their money back, they still have the ability to. In what time frame? So like, so so I do a hundred thousand dollar single premium yep. mech, yep. right? I'm sixty years old. Mm -hmm. I do a, a hundred thousand single premium mech. Yeah. You put a return of, return of premium rider on me. Yeah. I assume there's like a ten year surrender period. Yep, there right? is. And there so is. you have to deal with that. Yeah, you got to deal so with that. So you got to get through that before you can get the return of premium. Well, that's what's interesting. The surrender charge period on an IUL yeah. will run with it the ten years. Okay. Return of premium is day one. Seriously. So you can just get out of that contract anytime and get the return. What? Of premium. Yes, that's what I'm trying okay. to. Okay. Now we're that's, talking. That's what I'm saying, all right. right? So cool. That's what's always interesting to me about all these kind of talking heads that are down on life insurance, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Online, they're, yeah. they're like, "Oh, life insurance is always garbage. Cash value life insurance." Yeah. I never hear them talk about mechs. Right. You know now. now well, they, it's because they don't understand them. Like I mean, a lot of I, I mean, even Asians don't understand them. I mean, it's uh, rare. Full transparent. I, I I've never I've never used them like this. Yeah. And I think it's kind of like infinite banking, right? Like we mm -hmm. talk a lot about infinite banking, utilizing yeah. whole life in the right way. Yeah. Companies don't teach their agents how to do it because it's not as profitable of a business for insurance carriers. So like sure. companies like Mass Mutual and Penn, like they're great companies, but they don't focus on this style of business because it's not as profitable yeah. as a full base policy, right? Like a long term sure. base policy. And so with this, yeah. for the insurance company, it's yeah. not as profitable right. when you do it this way as a traditional IUL sale is. And so yeah. agents are not getting trained this by the home office, by the internal wholesalers, by all these people. You gotta yeah. learn how to do this. And so yeah. that's, you've kind of like, it seems like you've carved out this little niche. It's very niche. Right? It's, it, we're helping to yeah. serve a specific community, okay. right? So you really gotta be, naming who you're trying to help. Awesome. And if there's seniors in the space with these risks, mm. this is where you can bring massive value. Now, part of the issue is I'm independent. Yeah. I can work with a lot of different companies. Yeah, yeah. If you're a captive agent or, you know, not every company has mm. these types of products. Got it. So you really need that ability to be able to go out in the marketplace and see yeah. who's going to find the need. Yeah, yeah. Right. And so that's where it really provides a tremendous amount of value is you got a couple, they need this protection, but think about it. Like if you're dealing with somebody who's in retirement already, they know they have this risk mm -hmm. and you're talking to them about, well, how are we going to neutralize it? What are you going to do? You can't buy term insurance for that scenario. No, it's not going to be there to yeah, help them, impossible. right? Statistically, it's not going to be there. Yeah. Um, well, and then a 70-year-old can't buy term insurance no matter what, right. pretty much. Yeah, yeah. And, so and it's the not prospect of, like the odds. It's like, it's just not going to happen. Right. And the yeah. prospect of them, you know, forking over more cash flow to buy, you know, guaranteed insurance yeah. or permanent insurance, it's also not very exciting for them, right? Yeah, yeah. But to have the ability for them to keep that liquidity available if they choose to need it, mm. and to be able to have some safety and add those benefits in mm -hmm. is just tremendous value for them in terms yeah. of protection. Now, let's talk long-term care for a second because this is where this yes. thing shines, okay? okay? Most people that I come across don't have a plan for long-term care. Yeah, And sadly. they go, you know, I'm not buying long-term care insurance. You know, I don't well, want- Well, it's expensive. It's expensive. So people freak out, but the yeah. reality is most people are gonna need it at some point in time. Like, what is it, like 70% of it's people? It's a 73% like chance, it's, yeah, it's people crazy. are gonna need it, right? It's so it's, you yeah. know, it's a 100% chance you're gonna die, 73% chance you're gonna need long-term care. Yeah. You can see where this product yeah, yeah. has a lot of value, yeah, right? Yeah, it takes care totally, of those two totally. things. So, you know, long-term care is really crucial. You know, my, one of my favorite, uh, the guy that wrote the four, one of the forwards this book, Tom Hegna, talks about if you don't have a plan for long-term care, right. you don't have a, a retirement income plan right. at all. And so a lot of people know it's a risk. They've been through it with their parents. Yep. They want to deal with it, but they don't want to get into a long-term care policy mm -hmm. where they might have increasing premiums. Right. The rules might change. Mm -hmm. They've seen a lot of horror stories about that. Yeah. Modified endowment contracts will create that leverage. So if you have a dormant asset, a CD or, or some money in a money market or savings account, yeah. and you want to say, okay, how can we create some leverage for long-term care specifically? Mm -hmm. There are true long-term care riders that you can add to these. With different companies. With different companies. Gotcha. And so what that'll do is that'll make it where you can have two times your money, three times your money, four times the money you're putting in Depending leverage. Depending on the age you're starting. Depending on the age you're starting and what you're putting in yep. and how you structure yep. it. Yep. But you can really add tremendous value mm. to your savings portfolio. And that's why I talk about getting really serious about naming your passive liquidity. 
-hmm. If it's just there dormant, but you want to keep it safe, hey, you can still accomplish that, but let's see if we can add some benefits to it to help yeah. make a meaningful difference. I mean, that from that person, it's all about what we talk about all the time is like financial efficiency, getting your yeah. dollars to perform more than one function for you. And this is just utilizing a different product in a different stage of life to solve different problems. Yeah. That's really all it comes down to. 100%. And so, so, okay. So when we're, when, when you get into retirement and I, by the way, I love Tom Hagna. And so yeah, like, huge every, fan. everything he says yeah. is just like solid gold. Yeah. Um, so when we talk about like getting set up on this, the reason you like IUL, I'm assuming, mm -hmm. is because of maybe some more flexibility and more options for some of the riders, for like the long-term care riders, even though I know some whole life companies do it. Yep. Is there an underwriting reason? Is there like, what are the, what are the reasons that you primarily have utilized it's Index great, Universal Life versus Whole Life in a, this scenario? Yeah, it's a great question. So it's all about what the client is really looking for and okay. what their needs are, yep. right? Sometimes yep. Whole Life is just the right fit. In the, yeah. in the mech space, right? You can yeah. get a return of premium or waiver surrender sure. and they can have, you know, there's there's even products where they'll have day one cash value accumulation yeah. that they can walk away with. Yeah. I mean, unbelievable. Yeah, we, do, we see that all the yeah, time. Yeah, it's, but, it's incredible, but, yeah. yeah. And so that's kind of a, a cool benefit there, but really IUL is gonna have different benefits. Maybe sometimes you can get more living benefits with an IUL okay. and that's really what you're trying to accomplish. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can get more death benefit with an IUL than you sure. could a whole life yep. and that's where it might fit in there. Okay. But let me, that kind of touches right into the third reason why someone would use this. You know, sometimes you have people who maybe have some money sitting aside mm -hmm. and you're going to be able to help them. And they say, well, this money over here, this is specifically designed for my granddaughter gotcha. or, you know, my kids. Mm -hmm. And so what they're doing in that scenario is let's say they have 50,000 sitting over here in the bank. Mm -hmm. Well, they're using $50,000 to give $50,000. Yeah. It's not that efficient. Right. You could bring in a modified endowment contract, maybe take 25 of that 50 and with the death benefit, mm -hmm. add that leverage in so it looks like 50. Now you just liberated the other 25 to be able mm -hmm. to be used for something that they could benefit from in retirement totally. or take the whole 50 and make it 100. Yep. And so that would be a great use case for adding a lot of value to what they want to do. They want to maximize their gift mm -hmm. and now they can do it just by using the right tool. Yep. And so that's what I find is people all the time when I sit down with clients, they just are kind of baffled that these exist and they just didn't know you could do it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's like anything else. It's, well, this is why you wrote your book, No Stone Left Unturned, yeah. right? Like <laughs> this is the whole idea is like, and I use it, I love your title because I, I use Thank that you. phrase all the time, yeah. right? And like the idea is you gotta be open to different concepts and perspectives and you gotta constantly be learning. And unfortunately, I think one of the challenges with the financial world is yeah. that most people are just salespeople that are trained to sell a product for a company and yeah. there's not a whole lot of creativity there's not a whole lot of actual planning and proactive thinking and right. problem solving and stuff like that and i think you know that's why we do what we do and we try to be really creative and we try to like look outside the box and i believe success leaves clues and if you want to be successful you got to find the people that have what you want from a life perspective and then reverse engineer that and emulate what they're doing, right? And so 100%. You, have, you have these scenarios of like, your best way to find success is not to go out and just follow the advice of some salesperson, but go find the people that are actually doing it successfully and yeah. figure out what are they doing. So yeah. how did you learn about this? Great question, I was literally just gonna say that next. Yeah. The guys that wrote the four of my book, yeah. Tom Hagna, yep. Van Miller. I learned uh, it all from them. Right. And Van is like, he, he's the one who taught me about modified endowment contracts. Yep. And I think if you're a, a financial professional or a life insurance agent who, could, who knows you could go maybe deeper and bring mm -hmm. more value in the mm -hmm. space, those are the two you wanna go you know, learn from because yeah. they're gonna provide the most that I've seen, especially Van, yeah, he it. really taught, goes deep on modified endowment contracts, yeah, yeah. Uh, which is crucial. But I mean, here's the real world application of why this is so significant. Like mm -hmm. if you're sitting down with a client talking about being proactive and they may have X, whatever it is, like they have some amount of money, you know, to go through retirement. You know, I'm really passionate about helping people with long-term care because it's to me, it's one of the most challenging risks to overcome. Like you yeah. gotta have income for like 30 years then have the biggest expenses you've ever had in your life at the end. And they're compounding at the rate in which <laughs> Crazy. you need to spend money right now yeah. too. It's nuts. It's insane. And yeah. so it's, it's just, I think that it's such a wonderful profession we get to be in where we can serve the community in this way because we could come in and be proactive, yeah. show them how to use the right tool for some of that excess savings. And that could be the difference between them having quality of care and dignity at that stage in their life Amen. and not.
you know, I just had the blessing of sitting through my first, and it was, it was tough too, I say blessing, but I got to sit through my first long-term care claim recently, mm. which was hard to do, because mm -hmm. it's been a client of mine forever, I love her, and, but the, the blessing of it was I got to see the power of what we're really doing, because yeah, when, yeah. The, when the daughter came in to talk to us, uh, and we said, hey, mom needs this, mm -hmm. and it's there, I mean, yeah. that's, that's what it's all about. Yeah, man. I mean, it's, it's one of those things when we talk about the legacy conversation and yeah. passing it on, I mean, how you handle your money while you're alive yeah. is going to have a big impact on what you can leave behind and how you structure that and protect yourself. And if you, I my, one of my favorite quotes, and it's kind of a funny tongue in cheek quote, but it's just cause the ostrich buries his head in the sand doesn't mean the lion's dinner plans have changed. Right. Like, <laughs> I, like I, I could picture the meme, like in like long-term care and yeah. side, right? Like yeah. it's like, you know, like, but, it, but it's true. Like a lot of people don't want to deal with long-term care, but I got news for you. Like the need for long-term care is that lion and you are that ostrich. And if you ignore that you are, it will eat you alive at some point in time. Yeah. The odds are, I mean, 73% that those statistics don't lie. And so, when you when you look at that, if you're not addressing that, and I never heard that quote from Tom Hegna, but like if you don't have a plan plan for long term care, you don't have a retirement plan at all. Yeah. Right. And so is that it? That I that's get that yeah, right? that's his okay. quote. I'm pretty okay. sure. Yeah, yeah, I might be paraphrasing, so, okay. but yeah. So, Tom, if we got that wrong, we're sorry. <laughs> yeah. But, like, it's close enough. So so you know, at the end of the day, like I I, I love this. It's Thank all you. about solutions. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna have you come on and do a training for all the Life 180 agents. I'd be awesome. I'd be honored. Like, because that'd be awesome. Yeah. Because you I guys have given me so much. I would love to. Because I do that. Yeah. Awesome, man. Because yeah. I think this is so important um, yeah. for people to learn how to do it, what companies to do it with, um, where it fits, the different ways to structure it. Because you've you've mentioned there's all sorts of different ways to structure it. So right. probably just like we do with infinite banking and cash flow hacking and utilizing whole life insurance for real estate investing and business and reserve funds and opportunity funds and emergency funds and all these different things. Yeah. There's probably an equal amount, if not more ways you can look at designing things. Yeah. I don't want to just right? talk about all the benefits. You can mess them up. You got to yeah, do them yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, I mean, exactly. just like with structuring totally. policies, oh, it's got to be done the right way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's important and crucial. So yeah, it's, it's important to have an agent that knows Amazing. how to do it. And then, yeah, it. that's what I'm trying to do is help other people to share that gift. Rock so, and roll. Well, we'll awesome. definitely, I'm excited to have you on the team. Yeah. I'm excited to be able to have you on the channel. Thanks for having me, man. So, um, if anybody has any questions at all, leave them in the comment section below. I will do my best to engage with every single comment. You have anything else you need. You can email me directly, chris at life180.com. I can connect you with Danny. Sure. Um, we can go from there. Um, I'm also going to put a link. He's launching a YouTube channel, or I guess you kind of launched it. Yeah, right? it just like started it's, really. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so he's doing that. Um, I'm committed to helping him with that as well. So if if you want to learn more about this, he talks about this and other stuff. You can go down in the description below. I'll put a link to his channel. I'll cool. tag him in this so you can go check him out. Cool. Thanks. And um, yeah, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe here. Hit the bell. That way you're notified every time I launch a new video. Is there anything else that I missed? Like, did we cover everything? I think we covered We're it, good? man. Yeah, right, I appreciate right, it. Right, yeah, right, it's great to be able to right. get this out there and help more people, man. Love it, man. Yeah. Well, all right, guys. Well, until next video, have a blessed, inspirational day. We'll talk soon. See ya.